Okay, top comment on last video. Let trash can receipts. 2.2 thousand thumbs. You gotta do what the people want. Oh. Yep, thanks, Jenica. What the hell kind of name is that even? Jenica, really? This is the idea you're gonna give me? Great. Oh my god, it smells. Oh my. This is my Saturday, guys. Oh my god! Did somebody. Somebody order the entire menu? Oh my god. Uh, 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 okay. Is there a receipt in here? Okay, we got it. Why am I bringing the entire bag? Hell no, get. <laughs> I feel so dirty. All right, so it is currently breakfast time here, and I just touched my camera with my disgusting garbage gloves. And now I just touched my face with. Oh, it is currently 9 o'clock in the morning in Vancouver, British Columbia. If you guys don't know, I am from Vancouver. I am proudly Canadian. And in today's video, we are going to be doing letting trash can receipts decide what we eat for 20 four hours. How this works is for every single meal throughout the day, I'm going to be going to a garbage can, looking through it, and picking out a receipt from somebody else's meal, and that is what I have to eat. And I have to finish all of it. You guys know in my challenges, I finish all of the food. And if you don't finish it, you lose the challenge, and when you lose the challenge, we nothing ever really happens. Um, I guess me just doing this challenge is kind of losing the challenge in itself, considering I have to dig through garbage. I feel so dirty. So the trash can receipt we pulled for breakfast is two cheeseburger with heavy pickles and a medium Oreo shake. Who's who's eating this for breakfast? <laughs> who's eating this for breakfast? Who's eating this for breakfast? Burger King even served cheeseburgers at breakfast time and a medium Oreo shake at nine o'clock in the morning. What kind of idiot would order this? Hi, can I get two cheeseburgers with extra pickles and a medium Oreo shake? All right, so we have our two receipts here. I'm just gonna make sure that they match. 774, yes, that's perfect. I'm pretty sure receipts have the date or something on them for, oh, oh no. No freaking wonder! So I'm filming this on Saturday, May 3rd. Yes, I dig through garbage cans on my Saturdays. That, <laughs> girls, I'm single too. You want to join me and grab some gloves, some sanitizer? I don't know. But this receipt was done on Friday, May 3rd at 10.23 p.m. So this is from last night. So somebody had this last night, threw it in the garbage, and I picked it up the next day, which makes it so that I have to have a goddamn Oreo shake at 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't know if you guys can tell from looking at my face, but I am tired because I I hardly got any sleep last night because I knew I was gonna have to film this video today So I'm already tired. I'm hungry, but not for cheeseburgers with 17,000 pickles on. <laughs> Why am I still sick? How am I still sick? I should go to the doctor. Okay, so let's try this I mean it's good, but not for breakfast now it is time to eat our burgers, but of course we gotta make sure that, uh, you know, we don't get diabetes, you can't get diabetes out of a garbage can. Okay, this is, this is actually pretty small, which isn't bad. A little opening shot, okay. Next, okay, that's literally just pickles and cheese and bun. Great! Let's try the cheeseburger extra pickles. Look how many pickles are in this freaking bite! First of all, who goes to Burger King and gets anything but a Whopper? And second of all, who gets extra pickles? Only someone who really, really likes pickles will get extra pickles, like, because it just dominates everything. I mean, like, extra ketchup, extra onions, or, like, extra lettuce, that's a pretty normal thing, but you know, if you're on a date and the person gets extra pickles on their burger, they're, they're a freak. They're definitely a freak. <laughs> Only I would be like, yeah, if you could take your date to Burger King, you got this cheeseburger, another cheeseburger with 17,000 pickles on it, and our Oreo shake to finish for breakfast because this is letting trash can receipts decide what I eat for 24 hours. <laughs> I don't recommend having. Oh my god. Oh my god. I definitely. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought this was the eating trash. We're eating trash cans? What? 
So for the rest of today's video, I'm getting kind of bored of going to the same spots in the location that I live. So I thought that I would get out of my comfort zone a little bit and drive about two hours out from my city and go to some places you guys have never seen in my videos. Like for example, we're gonna go to Arby's, which I know I've never done in a video and I've actually never been there before. So I'm sure letting the trash can decide what I choose will be awesome. Just well, can you look at this, please? What the fuck? I would love to get out of my comfort zone just a little bit more. So if this video can get to 80,000 likes, I will be going and letting strangers decide what I eat in a Japan, guys. Yes, that is right. Yeah, Derek, you're going to Japan, whether you like it or not. <laughs> get this video to 80,000 likes. Subscribe if you are new and join the D squad. If you want to see Derek, go to Japan and ask random strangers what he should eat. And also comment down below with which places in Japan Derek should try out. Japanese McDonald's. 7-Eleven vending machines let us know in the comments and it's gonna be a super funny video because Derek doesn't speak Japanese so we don't know what's gonna happen hell he could get stuck in Japan forever and never be allowed back into Canada who knows all right guys enjoy the rest of the video all right so let's um let's get out of our comfort zone in this video in Canada for this video I thought because the drive to Taco Bell is pretty far and I'm gonna get there right when lunch starts Why don't I try to get a coffee because right next to the Burger King that I was at there is a Tim Hortons And I know there is a garbage can right in front of that Tim Hortons Which is a perfect location because it is right in front of the door So right as people are walking out They're gonna have their garbage in their hand and they're gonna throw it into that trash can and hopefully someone just orders like a medium Double double they're holding their coffee. They have their receipt They throw the receipt away and then Derek also gets a medium double double <laughs> into the, the Tim Hortons garbage can. I'm gonna move. So I don't know if this necessarily counts as a receipt, but I went to the Tim Hortons garbage can and there was a Starbucks cup and on the side of every Starbucks cup, it says what the order is. Shout outs to, what is this person's name? Shout outs to Nathan, you freaking fricker, idiot, frick. A Grand Blonde Americano with room time 10, 17 a.m. And it's 10.15 right now. Right now it is 10.15 a.m. Saturday, May 4th. This doesn't say the date, but if you look, it says 10.17 a.m. Or maybe this was the cup with his receipt on it from yesterday that was in his car that he just threw out. There's like red and brown marks all over this cup. Let's try and get the lid. Oh God, no! Oh, it's on my car, it's on my car, it's on my car. I took one of my gloves off, I don't have two hands. Oh. Oh, Nathan. Hi, can I grab a grande blonde Americano with room, please? Thank you. Ow! Oh, that's hot! Ow! All right, we are now here at Taco Bell. And what I didn't know about this Taco Bell is that it is also a KFC. I think every single Taco Bell in Canada also has a KFC attached to it. But I got here right when they opened because Taco Bell doesn't do breakfast. So there was gonna be nothing inside the trash can. So I went over to a coffee shop and read for a little bit while sipping on my Starbucks coffee that I had to finish. And the other day on my Instagram story, I told you guys that I read and a lot of you didn't, straight up just didn't believe me. Like I'm a smart guy, like I'm intelligent. I like to read, I like to absorb the knowledge from books. I think it is super important to read as much as you can. Okay, so before we find out what we're gonna get for lunch, I'm gonna take my last sip of coffee. Okay, our Starbucks is done. And the Tim Hortons trash bin that I just searched before, this smelled so bad. And if there's any place that's gonna have the nastiest, smelliest, just disgusting garbage can, it's gonna be Taco Bell. Especially when it's mixed with the garbage from KFC. It's gonna be like a goddamn science experiment in there. So we might have to take a few more precautionary measures. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, oh my God, that was by far the nastiest garbage can I have ever looked at. We have our receipt right here. Let's take off the mask, our goggles, and let's see what we are eating. This order was made on May 3rd at 4.19 p.m. If he would have just waited one more minute, he would have been a David Dobrik vlog. And the order is three, okay, three beef chal chalup. What? Three beef chalupa, no beef with bean, sin twists, which are cinnamon twists, and then add drink. So he doesn't say which drink, which means I can pick the drink, and that totaled out to 15. All right, so I'm gonna head into the dry. Okay, a lot of you have been saying, Derek, your bald spot looks like it's getting smaller. It's not. I haven't gotten my hair cut in a while, so if I pull the hair back on my bald spot, <laughs> definitely still there. Some of you guys were like genuinely upset at the idea that my bald spot was going away. I love the D Squad, man. It was so weird. Hi, right, can I please get three beef chalupas with no beef, add beans, one order of cinnamon twists, and one drink, please. So we have the garbage can receipt here. Why am I touching that with my head? Make sure we always have clean hands. Okay, so here is our receipt, and here is the, I just, can I just touch it again? Sure. As you can see, my fresh receipt is curled, and this one is straight from being in the garbage since 419 yesterday. We have everything in this bag, and we also have our drink, which is a Baja. I'm not doing that again. It is a hot day, and we have our blue Baja blast, which is the only this is the only thing that I really like about Taco Bell. This is by far their best thing. Oh. Especially on a warm day when I'm sitting in my car sweating with just I smell like garbage right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> And I'm single. Don't forget that! And the receipt was kind of deceiving because the bag in the garbage didn't have any other garbage inside of it, so I thought the order was gonna be super small. But as you can see, there are like tons of napkins. We have three taco wrappers in here and this bag of cinnamon twists. And I would love to do a part two where I have a GoPro attached to my head so you guys can see everything I'm seeing within the garbage. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comment section down below and I would love to do a part two. I don't even know what a chalupa is. I don't even know if that's a, is that a real word? Chalupa, so it sounds like a chicken had sex with Dua Lipa or something. I don't. So this is a chalupa. This is the love child of a chicken and Dua Lipa. So it looks like it has sour cream, lettuce, cheese, beans, just like the signature Taco Bell that makes everything they have taste exactly the same. Here we go. Let's see. Ah, just squirted out the back. That's not the first time I'm saying that today. <laughs> the shell of the chalupa, I don't know what it is. Anybody who works at Taco Bell, I know a lot of you guys work at fast food places. If you guys know what the shell is, leave it in the comment section down below, but it tastes awesome. And I also wanted to ask you guys, in America, do you guys have A&W? A&W is one of my favorite all-time fast food places, and I think it's a Canadian thing. There is cheese and lettuce all over my nuts. This is so tasty, but three of these, and oh, I have cinnamon twists too. Try this. That's fucking delicious. Yo, hold, I have, I have an amazing, I have an Elon Musk-esque idea right now. We take the cinnamon twist, put it into the chalupa. We have a cinna chalupa twisty and a du dua lipa chicken. Okay, I'm gonna finish off two more of these. I have jizz on my face. I'm gonna finish off two more chalupas, cinnamon twists, and my drink because that is what I found on the receipt in the garbage. Coffee plus Taco Bell equals immediate poo. I have to poo so bad right now. And the thing is that I can't go back home and poo because home is like an hour and a half away and Arby's, which is where I'm going to next for dinner, is pretty close to here. And honestly, if I think I took that hour and a half ride home, the interior of my car would be brown. It would no longer be black because I would poo everywhere. I'm gonna have to go somewhere. Oh my God, this is not good. This is bad. I, do I have to go to the Taco Bell washroom? I've never gone into a Taco Bell washroom. I don't know about you guys, I don't mind peeing in public washrooms, but pooping in a public washroom is just, I feel bad. Not only do I feel bad for my butt for having to sit on that disgusting toilet seat that's probably covered in pee, but I feel bad for the person that has to go in there after me because it's not gonna be pretty. Guys, you can never forget that everybody poops, okay? No matter how sexy, how gorgeous, how handsome, no matter what, once in a while, every single person on earth takes massive diarrhea dumps. Even Kim Kardashian, even Shawn Mendes, and I mean even Derek Gerard, like right now, right now. Mm. 
My butt is way too cute to put on a seat like that. <laughs> We have arrived at Arby's and just like last time at Taco Bell, I arrived a bit too early for dinner. So I did what I always love to do. I found a local coffee shop, went inside and just went right into a book. I really hope you guys take some inspiration from me and just indulge and get really into a book that you... Uh, a book? Pull the book back up, Derek! What are you- so I'm here at Arby's for dinner, and the thing about this Arby's is that there are no garbage cans outside the Arby's. I scoped out the outside of the entire place. I looked around. I looked in every nook and cranny that a garbage can can be, and there were none. But this is gonna have to be the first time where I go into the place and pull garbage out of the inside where there's customers who are gonna think- <laughs> I don't even know what they're gonna think. I'm gonna go into Arby's with blue gloves on and a camera and reach into their garbage can and run out. They're gonna think I'm like planting something or dissecting a bomb. I don't know what they're gonna think. Let's get this over with and see what we're eating for dinner from Arby's. <sighs> Oh my god, that was the most awkward experience of my life, but we have right here the Arby's The Arby's receipt. I, I saw it said Arby's. What is this? Was there two? There were, there were two receipts? This is for Super Real Canadian Superstore Grocery no. We crumple up two receipts together. Okay, so Julian ate in at 2.25 p.m. He got a half pound French dip meal, drink, large curly fries, a side of gravy, and a chicken slider. Julian, what the frick? Are you trying to kill me? So this was today at 2.25 p.m. I thought they might have just changed the garbage there because it was like next to empty. But I guess no one really uses that garbage can because there was another one right at the other side of Arby's, but it was right in front of the employees and they already thought I was weird. But crumpled in with that one was this superstore receipt. When is this from? April 26th? How long was this in your pocket, Julian? Okay, we're gonna deal with this one. We'll deal with this one later. For right now, we have to go to the drive-thru and get this. Hi, could I get a half pound French dip meal, please? Um, could I get that with a Coke? And could I get a large curly fries with that? And then could I get a side of beef gravy and one chicken slider? Thank you. Thank you. You too. All right. I am really not looking forward to this at all. All right, so shout outs to Julian for giving me like 1,500, maybe even 2,000 calories for dinner. I'm really not used to that. I'm also a vegetarian when I'm not filming these videos, if you guys didn't know. And I have about three and a half animals in, the, in just in this one bag right here. We have a medium drink just like Julian and I chose Coke. Arby's really doesn't have any signature drinks. They did have that creamsicle milkshake, but again, Julian didn't order that, so I can't. So this bag is just straight up liquids. We have here the au jus, which you dip the beef dip in. I don't even know what that stuff is. I think it's like beef fat or I don't I don't know speaking of beef fat We have just straight up beef gravy because uh why have one tub of sauce? That's just gonna kill you when you could have two. That's the Arby's motto This is a large curly fries from Arby's. I've always heard about their curly fries, but I've never had them Let's see how they taste Oh yes! Look at this just curly little pigtail of juicy tender Just look at that frickin' these are just beautiful. Now I usually have a rule that if you eat fries without ketchup or any sauce you cannot be trusted but curly fries are different because curly fries are usually like loaded with a bunch of spices and all this yummy stuff that you don't really need sauce for. Okay, and then we also did oh that looks so bad This is the chicken slider that Jamie insisted on adding to his meal um, This is literally just a piece of chicken and cheese and the chicken is great. That's not supposed to happen It's hot which is good, but it doesn't look pretty, but that's never stopped me before <laughs> What does that mean? If you threw some honey mustard or some spicy mayo onto this, it would be really good the Last thing we have here that Justin ordered is oh my god Nobody should eat that 
Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, it smells like fish. What the? I don't think you realize what the, what is that? So the way a beef dip works is you take this and you dip it into this sauce here. So let's do that. Honestly, if you eat this unironically, there's something wrong with you. Okay. If you eat this unironically, okay, I'm saying it again. It's so wet. It's not bad, but like, why would you choose to eat this? This is why Arby's is like mainly an American thing. They threw this here in Canada for the first time, and I think it's not, it's gonna go. It's gonna be gone in a, a week. It's either gonna be gone or there's gonna be 20 Canadians drop dead outside of it because their arteries clogged the second they left. So I have this tray attachment that I brought for this video that attaches to your steering wheel, and I have all the food in front of me. This is probably the most intimidated I have ever been by food in my entire life. I don't know if it shows, but I am freaking sweating like crazy. This is so warm. Just. Can you look at this, please? What the fuck? I'm gonna have to open some windows because I picked up this receipt out of the garbage can and I have to eat every single last bite of it to complete this challenge. Like, and just like that. All of the Arby's has been complete. You're probably wondering, Derek, I thought you had to take a poo. How did you not explode while you were eating that Arby's? Well, I know you guys thought I was inside Starbucks reading, but I was actually destroying their toilet for three hours. Now that dinner is complete, there is only one thing left to do. The challenge is complete. I got everything from the receipt that I got out of the Arby's trash can. And I even snagged one of the baked in store stickers so I could put it onto my receipt and it'd be just like the one I got from the garbage. And honestly, completing this challenge wasn't that bad because now I just have a bunch of groceries that I can put into my fridge. Complete the chat, Derek. You gotta eat that food if you want to complete the challenge. You haven't completed anything yet. Yeah, get to eating and I'll do the outro for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know how much you love this series and I love doing it especially when you guys leave such awesome ideas in the comment section so leave any more ideas you have in the comment section down below and be on the lookout because new merch is coming very very soon I love and appreciate each and every single one of you and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video always remember the motto of do good die great and I will see you all very soon all right bye And yes, I did see that the last video got 100,000 thumbs up, which means I will be getting a dog, but it hit 100,000 after I filmed this video. I sent my name in for an adoption. <coughs> <coughs>